Hello knowledge seekers, hope you are doing well and as always if you are new to my channel I would request you to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you shall be able to watch all the latest engineering videos that I will upload on my channel. Thanks a lot. So today the problem that we have our hand is basically we have two Cartesian vectors in space. Uh, one of the Cartesian vector is called Fa and the other Cartesian vector is Fb. By space I means that it will have three components along the x-axis, along the y-axis and along the z-axis and we have to determine the magnitude of the sum of the forces of Fa and Fb which means we have to calculate the magnitude of Fa and Fb in Cartesian vector form and we need to take the absolute value of this Fa and Fb and then we also need to calculate the direction cosines of Fa which means that this vector Fa is going to make some angles with these respective axes one of the angles that it will make with the x-axis which will be called as theta xi the other will be called as theta yj and the other one the last one it from uh, the z-axis it will be theta z k so these three angles of fa we are being willing to determine we can also calculate the angles of fb as well but here the task at hand is only to calculate the direction cosines of this vector fa so let's start the problem so if you look at this problem we have this vector fa and this vector fa is basically making an angle of 40 degrees with this respective axis it is making an angle of 40 degrees with this axis so what are we going to do now is basically we know whenever we resolve this vector fa we will have uh, the base and we will also have the perpendicular component so first of all we will say that uh, uh, since this 40 degree and this perpendicular component uh, we can very easily say that this will be fa sine of 40 fa the, this component will be fa sine of 40 and its direction will be along the positive y axis because this is the resultant force fa so the direction of this uh, perpendicular component will be along the y axis so we can say fa sine 40 j so if you look at it here this is our fa and we are resolving it into its respective components and calculating the projections so one of the easiest components to calculate first of all it will be fa 140 into sine 40 and j why j because if you look at it this component is parallel to the y axis so and it is since this is positive y so this component will also be positive so plus sin 40 j now comes the other part so this is the perpendicular component so this will be base so we will say we can say we need to resolve this force fa into two respective axes one of projection has been calculated the other projection of fa we want to calculate along the x axis here is our x axis and the third one is basically the z axis so we will say that this fa base can be calculated as fa cos of 140 and remember what is fa fa is 140 so 140 cos of 40 we can say and then if we want to calculate the projection of this fa along the x axis if you look at it this fa is also being connected with this z axis also over here so we can say if in order to calculate the projection of this fa along the x axis we can easily calculate this as fa cos of 40 and then uh, the base component or which is the projection along the x axis is is this basically is basically this thing you can say this is uh, uh, this straight line is going to be the projection along the x-axis from here to here okay we can very easily say so we can say fa cos 40 and we can say it as sine of 50 okay so fa 140 cos 40 and sine of 50 this is going to be the sine 50 component so we can say fa 140 cos 40 sine 50 what will be the z component again we'll do the same story again fa which is 140 pounds cos 40 but this time the component which is parallel to the z axis will be along this will be cos of 50 okay so we will say 
एफ ए वन फोर्टी कॉस फोर्टी एंड कॉस ऑफ फिफ्टी सो दिस विल बी बेसिकली द प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ एफ ए अलॉन्ग द जी एक्सिस ओके सो वी हैव रिजोल्व एफ ए इन टू रिस्पेक्टिव प्रोजेक्शन एंड वन ऑफ द प्रोजेक्शन वॉज एफ ए साइन फोर्टी विच इज अलॉन्ग द वाई एक्सिस दैट इज वाई वी पुट जे द अदर प्रोजेक्शन अलॉन्ग द एक्स एक्सिस वॉज एफ ए कॉस फोर्टी एंड देन सिंस वी हैव टू मेक अ प्रोजेक्शन अलॉन्ग द एक्स एक्सिस विल बी दिस कंपोनेंट दिस कंपोनेंट इट विल बी दिस स्ट्रेट लाइन हेयर इफ यू एज्यूम एंड दिस एंगल इज फिफ्टी सो इन फ्रंट ऑफ दिस एंगल इट विल ऑलवेज बी साइन सो एफ ए वन फोर्टी कॉस फोर्टी साइन फिफ्टी आई and the last of the components uh, uh, are the projection of fa along the z axis will be again fa which is 140 cos 40 and cos 50 k so here it is 140 cos 40 and cos 50 k so these are the projections of fa now we go to the projections of fb along the x y and z axis remember this is x axis this is x axis this is y axis and this is z axis and this is our origin this is going to be our origin since this is our origin so any axis which will go opposite to x axis will be from here to here like this it will be minus x any axis which will go below this point it will be minus y axis and any axis from the origin goes uh, behind this z axis it will be minus z axis this you already know just a simple reminder so let's calculate the projections of fb so when we calculate the projection of fb remember fb is 100 pounds so we will say 100 again the same whole story but we have calculated here it will be fb cos 60 this component and the perpendicular component will be sin 60 so we can very easily calculate the uh, perpendicular component we will say fb which is 100 pounds sin of 60 so it is fb 100 pounds uh, in the bracket it will be sin 60 j why j because it is parallel to the y axis and on on the y axis the unit vector will always be j remember this so now uh, the components we will say let's say calculate the component which is parallel to the x axis the projection of the fb on the x axis okay so we will say it will be 100 and again the projection will be uh, this angle is 30 and remember so if this is 30 the the component which is perpendicular to 30 from here along the this axis along this axis will be sin so we will say 100 cos 60 sin 30 okay again 100 cos 60 and the angle which is opposite to 30 degrees will be sin so it will be 100 cos 60 sin 30 remember i put a minus sign here you see why i put a minus sign here because along the x axis this is the origin any component behind the x axis here it will always be minus so we put a minus sign here okay so we calculated the projection of fb along the x axis now what will be the projection of fb along the z axis very simple it will be fb which is 100 pounds cos 60 and this component will be cos of 30 and since it is z axis it will be cos of uh, 30 k so here it is fb equals to 100 cos 60 cos 30 k so if we simplify this we will be able to get the value of fb equal to minus 25i plus 86.6j plus 43.3k pounds so this is the value of fa and this is the value of fb now we need to calculate they have said you need to calculate the magnitude of the sum of forces of fa and fb so what will be fa and fb we can vectorally add them basically since there are two vectors the i components will get added 82.2i minus 25 will be added plus 90 will be added with uh, 86.6j and 68.9k will be added with 43.3k so we will get fa plus fb equals to 57.2i plus 176.6j plus 112.2k so this is fa plus fb but he says you need to calculate the magnitude okay for magnitude remember uh, which formulas do we have to take whenever we have to calculate the magnitude so if you remember if you remember we have uh, uh, to calculate the magnitude we have this formula if you look we will use this formula which is 
a is equals to under root of a x square plus a y square plus a z square. Okay. And this is the vector a x i plus a y j in the bold form. To calculate magnitude, we will use this formula. Uh, and uh, remember, so we calculated f a plus f b equals to 50, uh, square root of 57.2 the whole square plus 177 the whole square plus 112.2 the whole square. So the magnitude of f a and f b in absolute comes out to be equals to 217 pounds. Now he asks another question, you need to calculate the direction cosines of f a. If we want to calculate the direction cosines of f a, it will be basically, uh, we will be, we already know that in order to calculate the direction cosines uh, of a Cartesian vector, we will use this, these formulations. Cos alpha will be equals to a x upon a, cos beta will be equals to a y upon a, and cos gamma will be equals to a z upon a. Okay, remember this is our vector a, this is a x, and remember this is a y, and this is uh, a z. This is a z. So we'll be using this formula to calculate our direction cosines. Okay, and remember these are direction cosines. This is alpha uh, vector a alpha from the x axis. This is beta, uh, the orientation of a from the y axis, and this is gamma. The the orientation angle of A along the Z axis is gamma. Okay, so I hope you uh, must understand this formula cos alpha equals to AX upon A, cos beta equals to AY upon A, and cos gamma equals to AZ upon A. Okay, so we know the vector FA we calculated here as 82.2i plus 90j and 68.9k. FA magnitude is already been calculated given the question as 140 pounds. So cos theta x will be equals to f a x upon f a magnitude so it is f this is f a x this is f a x written here and this is the magnitude 140 so we calculate theta x equals to cos inverse of 0 0.5871 it comes out to be equals to 54.04 degrees and cos theta y which we, again this will be uh, f a y which is 90 j 90 and uh, the magnitude is 140 as given over here it comes out to be equals to theta y comes out to be equals to 50 degrees and the same in the same way the f a z component is 68.9 placed over here divided by 140 we get theta z equals to 60.53 now what are these angles telling you from in in the basically space for this vector f a it tells me is that if this is f a the angle the angle of this vector Cartesian vector F A along the x axis from this point to this axis it will be 54.04 degree and what will be the angle of this F A along the y axis okay it will be 50 degrees from here to here is 50 degrees and what about this theta z from from this vector F A from this vector F A to the z axis to the z axis this angle will be 60.53 degrees. So this is how you calculate uh, the projections of uh, a Cartesian vector, a three-dimensional Cartesian vector in space and then also how you calculate uh, the direction cosines uh, of this vector F A is being explained to you in this problem. I hope uh, the concept is clearly understood and uh, I thank you all for giving your time in understanding this question. And uh, thank you very much. And in the end, I would be uh, uh, very grateful for you. And as always, take care of yourself because you're worth it. Thanks a lot.